benefits of divine backing is that there is an empowerment to fulfill destiny assignment where there is divine backing there is the release of empowerment to fulfill your destiny assignments every destiny assignment will be resisted every destiny assignment will be confronted with antagonizing forces every destiny assignment requires divine assistance if it must be carried out the assignments of destiny are purely the mind of God brought to pass in your life hear me whoever you are your assignment on earth will be resisted your assignment on earth will be resisted by man and by devil there are forces that will not allow you to fulfill your assignment but with divine backing there is a guarantee though the mountains be moved and the hills be removed there is a river am i talking to somebody here am i talking and i declare to somebody your assignment on earth shall be fulfilled Amen. your purpose on earth shall be accomplished Amen. the reason why you came to this world shall not be thwarted what god has for you the enemy shall not abort it Amen. the plan of god for your life shall not be thwarted Amen. you will go ahead to fulfill your destiny assignment Amen. am i talking to somebody Talk here to me, and in case you are confused at what assignment you were born to create to, uh, to accomplish today may your eyes be open Amen. i say may your eyes be open Amen. i sense the beauty of your destiny Amen. i sense the glory of your destiny Amen. and go ahead and fulfill Amen. your assignment on earth Amen. lift up your hands say i will never be a victim i will never be a victim shout it louder i will never be a victim in this life in this life in the name of jesus Amen. in the name of jesus Amen. hear me every assignment attracts the devil every assignment attracts fight and hear me every assignment there is something that is an element of a fight there is something you must fight for the assignment to be revealed are you aware that the assignment of jesus was satan are you aware that the assignment of david was to kill goliath are you aware that the assignment of Mordecai was to handle Haman? is somebody hearing what i'm saying here are you aware that the assignment of moses is to handle pharaoh are you aware of that are you aware that the assignment of Daniel was to handle Nebuchadnezzar and the lion's them? The assignment of Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego is to face the fiery furnace. Show me every man who fulfilled his destiny assignment conquered the devil. Yes, sir. That is why divine backing is non negotiable, it is an optionless compulsion, no back door, no exit door. You just need it, and that is what you must go for because without it you will be a victim without it you'll be alive and yet unfulfilled without it you will see assignment drifted away from your hand and taken from you without it there'll be a detour you cannot fulfill what god has for you before your eyes will grow in age but you'll be reducing in results that is not your portion and i declare to somebody here as you hear the sound of my voice yes sir. go ahead and fulfill your destiny assignment. go ahead and fulfill your destiny assignment I say go ahead and fulfill your destiny assignment. Can I hear somebody say in the name of Jesus? I must fulfill my destiny assignment. Shout it louder. I must fulfill my Again. I must fulfill my destiny And can I talk to somebody here? Even the fulfillment of your destiny assignment, apart from that, there's an enemy. The assignment does not resemble you. assignment for joseph his assignment is to save a nation and a generation that will perish in famine for nebuchadnezzar for nehemiah is to build the walls for Ezra, his assignment is to build the temple of solomon for david is to give israel peace and serenity and bring israel into their rest for solomon is to multiply wealth and show the possibility of serving god and be wealthy I don't know if you understand what i'm saying when you take every man there is one assignment or the other given to him to 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 to, to fulfill for esther is to show that you can be a child of god be a queen and the fight esther came to fight is to fight the law of the madness and the pressure so if fulfilling your assignment there's a devil on your right hand and there's an uphill tax that is so bigger than you that it needs divine assistance 
He needs divine sponsorship. And that is where divine backing is required. God said to, David, uh, to, to Jacob, I will not leave you until I have fulfilled. I have fulfilled that which I have spoken concerning your life. That means uh, Jacob, there is an assignment for why you are alive. I will not allow the tribulation of life, the favorable conditions of life. I will not allow devils and human wickedness to stop it. That's why God could rebuke Laban. That's why God could rebuke Esau. That's why God could rebuke obstacles that stood before Jacob that could have buried his purpose and his assignment. Can I declare to somebody here, you will not waste another day of your life. You will not waste another moment of your destiny. Go ahead and fulfill your assignment. Can I hear somebody shout out amen like a thunder? Number four. What is the benefit of divine backing? You assess the favor of God. When God is backing you, you are favored. When God is backing you, you are favored. I, he found him, Jacob, in a Halloween wilderness. He led him. The Bible says, and he gave him oil from the filthy rock and honey from the rock. My friend, that is favor. We are, it is impossible for others. God makes it possible. So favor is the mystery behind quick response. Favor is the mystery behind quick arrival. Quick arrival. What take people 10 years to get by favor? You arrive on time favor mobilizes destiny partners for your life favor mobilizes destiny partners for your life people who will partner with you to fulfill your destiny is the act of god's favor they give their money they give their resources they give their time they give their intellectual properties to you to assist you assist you fulfill your destiny that is the favor of god it comes by the backings that is from heaven they got not their land by their own strength. It was not their arm that delivered them. But the right hand, the light of the country, because that has favored unto them. Psalms 44, verse 3. They got not the land by their own strength. They got the promotion not by their strength. They were favored not by their own strength. Favor puts you above people that you are better that are better than you. God's favor puts you above people that are better than you. That is divine backing. That is divine backing. Favor is divine radiance. Favor is self-acceptance. Self Favor is attractiveness. Is attractability. Favor, child of God, is a limit breaker. Favor is an embargo lifter. It's a limit breaker. It's an embargo lifter. When God favors you, the limit is removed. What happened to Noel Jones yesterday was favor. Can you arrive a big nation like Nigeria without visa? I also know a pastor who went to America without visa. He landed, they gave him visa at the entrance. Immigration in Nigeria saw visa. They thought they saw visa. They didn't know they saw they saw uh, Gabon visa. Bam! They stamp it. When God decides to favor you, your enemy will see double. Favor makes you a wonder before your neighbor. A wonderment. Deuteronomy thirty-three verse twenty-three. Favor makes you a wonder before your mates. Deuteronomy 33, 23. You become a wonder to your generation. People be, can, 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 cannot, cannot reconcile what is at work in you. Others went there, they turned them down. You went there, you got it. That's right. That is nothing but the oppressions of favor. I don't know whether it's here that we got the testimony or was it Papa? I cannot tell. How a lady does not have enough money. In her account if her account was three thousand the man of god said go the favor of god goes with you she entered no full papers no sponsor she told her pastor I had a dream that i went to america pastor say apply abnormality 
When she was going, say, Papa, pray for me. Say, the favor of God goes with you. The people at the gate say, Why are your papers? Let's check. Be sure everything is all right. They just check. They didn't even check anything. They say, It's all right. Pass. That is the first miracle. She entered. They were busy sending people away. Sending people away. As he got close to her tongue, one of the men that before her stood. They stamped it. They said, No. Uh, we deny you visa. As he turned to go, he fell on the ground and fainted. So, everybody was shouting, Jesus, Jesus. The people in the counter, the white people are looking, shouting. This lady rushed this man and started resuscitating him. Started, started pressing his chest and started praying and reviving. Ten minutes after, the man opened his eyes. The white man and the white lady said, wow, he's back. He said, yes. He said, please don't die here. He said, no, I won't die. What, what, am I, what, what happened to me? They say, you fainted. He said, sorry. Then the white man looked at her, told the lady, he said, thank you very much. Oh, what can we do for you? Let me have your passport. He just went in. He said, come back after three days and take your visa. Nothing like, let's see your paper. That's how this girl entered America. Johnny just come without knowing anybody. She has never flew from Portaco to Lagos, but she entered America. The first flight was to go to America. Who told you favor cannot give to you what you have? I don't know if I'm talking to somebody here. Somebody shall favor. I went to preach in Jalingo this yesterday. I was prophesying and I picked a young man. I didn't know that the girl was crying. The girl wanted to marry. She caught the girl for five years and he decided to break the girl's heart. And I didn't know. And I came to that service. I called the name. He came out. I said, I said, lady, you want to marry, but you are confused whether to marry her. He said, yes. I said, come here. He said, I want to tell you something about the lady. Is she here? He said, she's here. I asked the lady to come out. She came. She stood. I said, a pastor told you that that is not your wife. She said, yes. He said, that's why I'm breaking it. I said, this lady is your wife. He, said, he looked at me. How? I said, remember in January you had a dream. You were driving a car in a desert. And the car ran out of fuel. From nowhere in the desert, the girl came and gave you fuel. He said, yes, I remember four liter. He gave me four liter. And you pour it inside your car. He said, yes. And you continue the journey and you carry her. He says, that is the wife now God gave you. He put his hand on his head. All the men of God there said, this prophecy has entered another. Prophecy that has entered people's dream now. That can tell people their dream and interpret it. If, no, I didn't say your name is this. I'm telling you what you dreamt. He said, four liter in a desert. Yes, he gave me the foil. I said, you remember that dream? He said, yes, sir. I said, do you know me? He said, no. I said, marry that girl. If you don't marry her, we release five husbands. He said, it is done, sir. I'll go and see her parents next week. I said, better. Now, I came as a prophet to deliver her from heartbreak. That must be the favor of God. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody here. Can I prophesy to some people? By the time you get home between now and 10 p.m., yes, sir. a strange favor will answer your life. Amen. I say a strange favor will enter your life. Amen. God will give you favor that will shock all our sundry. Amen. Lift up your hands, say, Lord, Lord. favor my life. Favor Shout it louder. No. Yes. Favor my life. One more time. No. Yes. Favor my life. One more time. No. Favor my life. Woo. Can I professor? Professor. May favor be your next name. Amen. By the backings of heaven. When you look at your life, you will know that if it has not been the Lord who was on my side. Let the Israel say. If it has not been the Lord, when my enemy rose up against me, they would have swallowed me. But my soul have escaped from the snail of the fowler. And the fowler and the snail is broken. And my soul have escaped. Lift up your hands, say in the name of Jesus. I receive the manifestation. I receive the manifestation of divine backing. Of divine backing. Take your seat. Number five. Benefit of divine backing, it guarantees power for manifestation power for manifestation the world is waiting for your manifestation and not your explanation 
Your generation is not waiting for your explanation. They want to see your manifestation. A manifestation is the reality of your expectation. What is manifestation? The reality of your expectation. Can I talk to somebody here? I don't know what you expect this year. I don't know what you're expecting about your marriage. I don't know what you're expecting about that business deal. Yes. Said I prophesy with my eyes open. Yes, you will see the reality Amen. of that expectation. Amen. You will see the reality Amen. of that expectation. Amen. Can I hear somebody shout that amen like a thunder? Amen. To manifest means to reveal. Jesus, while he was on earth, came to reveal the Father. He never started his ministry with doctrine. Jesus began his ministry with demonstration. I prophesy to somebody here. Receive capacity to demonstrate God. Elijah manifested by demonstrating the power of God to his generation. So much that he killed 850 prophets. And nobody summoned him to the court. Nobody summoned him to the court. He was never sued for murder because of the volume and the weightiness of his manifestation. Can I profess, sir? There's some manifestation that will cause people to be silent. They will not be able to argue with you. Yes, Somebody is entering that realm in the name of Jesus. Amen. Can I talk to somebody here? God is not to be explained. God is to be demonstrated. Did you hear what I said? God is not to be explained. God is to be demonstrated. You have talked too much about God. You have explained too much about God. From today, demonstrate God. Demonstrate God. Demonstrate God. In your business. In your career. In your marriage. In your family. Lift up your hands say, I will demonstrate God. I will demonstrate God. Moses did not hold round table with Pharaoh when he went to Egypt. His statements are very short. He only demonstrated. Pharaoh, thus says the Lord. He didn't say, Pharaoh, I am that Moses that left. Now I am back. I am not normal. Oh. If you try me, I will show you shaky. No, he just appeared. Let my people go that they may serve me. He said, who is that God? He said, I will show you who that God is. Bam! He cast his rod. It's time to show devil shake it and show your enemy that you are not alone. That there is a divine backing. God cannot be backing you and there's nothing to demonstrate. God cannot be backing you and there's nothing to show. Mm. My son in Jalingo said, Papa, I followed you for 15 years. But I've never seen the kind of manifestation of deliverance. And mature men are running to climb fence to run. The deliverance power was heavy. Honorables were rolling on the ground, scattering everywhere from all directions. People were running, Muslims were taking off. People started running. Some were running to grab the fence to jump. They were grabbing them down from everywhere as if there was commotion. Power, raw power. No, no, a jegule power, raw, no pandemian power, raw power. Raw power that I'm looking at you like this. Five people are going down. I do like this. Ten people are going down. They are not just going down and falling just casually. They are falling like them go take trailer and manifesting like caterpillars. You will know that they are not in control of themselves. Something has taken over them. Baka. God is to be demonstrated not to be explained you know the greek word for god is this the hebrew word for god in kunku stop it god is god. your greek and your hebrew with that power is a waste of time it makes you a disability in your generation is somebody hearing what i'm saying here jesus said i have come to set this wall on fire Hello, Batara. He said, Woe be me if it has not already started. Luke chapter 12 and verse 49. Jesus said, I have come to set the wall on fire. The time to spread fire. The time to demonstrate God. The time to show the power of your God is now. Stop explaining. You are too dry. You need manifestations. Luke chapter 12 and verse 49. So manifestation, he am a child of God, is a function of divine backing. Yes, what did he say? I have, I am come. 
I am come to send fire to set fire on the earth on the earth and what will I what will I it be already kindled if it is not already kindled what I wish is already kindled in fact it has already started I am already here to demonstrate it I have come to bring fire on the earth oh how I wish is already kindled Today I declare the fire that will make your generation respect you. Let it be ignited on your life now. I said, let it be ignited on your life now. Somebody shout fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody cares about what you think about your God. Nobody cares about what you are saying about your God. What they care is what they can see about your God many cannot manifest because their spiritual antenna is dysfunctional their spiritual antenna is dysfunctional and their connectivity has been disconnected so no divine backing stretch your hand from today you will not fear devils devils will fear you let me hear that amen like a thunder lift up your hands say i am here for manifestation shout it louder here for one more time i am here for demonstration so manifestation is god showing up to defend his name manifestation is god showing up to defend his name is god showing up to unveil your destiny manifestation is the opening of god's heart to change man's position manifestation is the opening of god's heart to change man's position manifestation is not god just showing to reveal you the manifestation is god showing up to revive your spirit revive your soul and impact on you so that you will go and be an impact in your generation somebody shout manifestations shout it louder so manifestation is the opening of heaven the opening of heaven upon the life of a man because open heaven is key to open destiny enough of god give me helper of destiny it's time for you to be a helper to somebody it's time for god to open your heaven and make you somebody's helper and change your condition manifestation means god's extraordinary demonstration god's extraordinary demonstration that is manifestation you need it to deal with dryness you need god's extraordinary demonstration so that your struggle can be terminated so that you can experience attention commanding results manifestation does not only unveil men the manifestation child of God makes you a financial mafia in your time and your generation. Lift up your hands, say, Lord, Lord. shout it louder. Lord. Make, me a man Make me a man and a woman, and a woman. Of, unprecedented of unprecedented manifestations. manifestations. Can I hear somebody shout manifestations? manifestations. Number six. Divine backing finally, number six, releases evidence of what we profess. Divine backing releases evidence of what we profess. What we mean is God turns your confession to substance makes your christianity evidential divine backing divine backing gives you something to show to your generation that god is not dead in your life evidence is doing justice to what you confess or profess evidence is the result you get for what you confess Serving God without proof is a mockery. 
until your Christianity produces result, your life will be a puzzle to your generation and to yourself. And can I talk to somebody here? Well, I heard so. Evidence is a legal terminology. In law, in the law court, no one claim what he does not have a proof for. In the court of law, you don't claim what you don't have proof for. Any time in law, they don't they don't respect your grammar, they respect your evidence. In the realm of the spirit, our generation want to see your evidence. God called you, show it. God lifted you, show it. Evidence is when confession marries possession. Evidence is when confession marries possession. Can I talk to somebody here? From today, you will not only be talking how big God is. They will see the bigness of God in your lifestyle. You will talk that God is rich. They will see money in your hand. You will say, God, you are anointed. They will see the evidence of the anointing. Can I hear you shout that amen like a thunder? From today, I declare, as you live here, yes, sir. may you produce evidence. Amen. Why did Jesus cause the fig tree? Because there is no evidence. When your life lack evidence, people will be insulting you and cursing you. You attract the cause of men and God. When there's no evidence to show. Evidence free you from causes. The backings of heaven gives you evidence. Jacob said, I cross this Jordan with a staff. But now see. Is seeable. Is touchable. All this one, God shall bless me. Shall, shall, shall. That, no, no. You must show it. It's drivable. It's touchable. It's wearable. It's eatable. When you carry evidence, even the food on your table... If we a blind man, we know you are eating good food. <laughs> Lift up your hands and say, I receive evidence. In the name of Jesus. God wants people to see your good works. So that they can glorify him. They want, they, they want your community to give God glory. Because you went and treat them free. You open roads in that village. That is what God wants you to do. He wants people to see your good works. That's why you need the backing of heaven. As you pilgrim through this life, as you operate on this terrestrial realm, you need celestial assistance. So that your result can be different from your neighbor and from your partners and from your friends. So that your serving God will not end only attending church. Finally, number seven, divine backing gives you the covering, covering. the protection, protection. the mantle, mantle of your man of God. Divine backing. It makes your man of God to back you up. Divine backing. Anytime something will happen, your man of God will appear. Anytime you call on the God of your man of God, bow, it will happen. The man of God said, the God of this commission, go with you. Someone said, that is divine backing. Anytime God gives you divine backing, he gives you the spirit of the house to protect you. You receive the spirit of your man of God for protection. The spirit of your man of God is very powerful. God can use one spirit of a man of God and distribute to a thousand congregations. That's how powerful your man of God's spirit is. When God is backing you, the spirit of your man of God goes with you. That's why Elisha said to Gehazi, that my spirit went with you. That means the spirit of your man of God can go with you. Stretch your hand. I prophesy. Wherever you are under the sound of my voice, receive the covering of this house. Receive the mantle of this house. Let it fall upon you. Fall upon your family. Fall upon your business. Yes. Fall upon your career. Yes. Somebody shout fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Quickly write this thing down. What is the absence? What condition needs divine backing? What do you suffer if you lack divine backing? What kind of condition of life needs divine backing? Number one. Absent of 
attention commanding results where there is absence of attention commanding result you need divine backing uh. number two when there is atmosphere of spiritual dryness atmosphere of struggle you struggle too much in everything you do you need divine backing who needs divine backing when there is an absence of life changing word the word you are receiving is not changing you it's not changing your condition you need divine backing who need divine backing number four anybody who is experiencing abundance of trouble and calamity without divine intervention you need divine backing hi from today you will not live a life that appears as if satan has the final say amen you didn't hear what i said may you not live a life that appears as if it is satan that has the final say amen. i decree the devil shall not have the final say over your marriage over your finance amen. over your business over your career amen. in the mighty name of jesus if you are going through this thing you will cry for the benefit of divine backing on your life sir refuse to set you for the stethoscope refuse to be blind of your ceasing of blessing refuse to be ignorant of your time of visitation god is visiting us this month with the backings of the spirit if you observe my method and the weightiness of my messages have changed my prophetic insight have changed it means we are getting ready to enter another season of this ministry and hear me you can we cannot be changing season and you are at the same level we cannot be changing season and your life look like a dry as the sahara desert today whatever is fighting your capacity to produce result whatever is fighting your attention commanding result whatever is fighting your testimony whatever is introducing dryness in your life i set it on fire i set it on fire i set it on fire jump on your feet say my father my father i will not let you go without your divine backing my father my father i will not let you rest without divine backing i am tired of life without testimony i am tired of the absence of attention commanding result i need a testimony in my life marital testimony financial testimony i need a spiritual testimony i am tired of my spiritual level i need a Somebody pray. Sharo, a katana paso, a katana paso, a katana paso, a katana paso, a somebody pray, a katana paso, a katana paso, somebody pray, a paso, a sala, somebody pray, a sala, a para da la para da la paso, mana la para da la para, a para da paso, zaina la para da la paso, se que tu ama la para da la paso, para mana la para da la paso, a sala de bodoso, ya para da la para da la paso, ya para da la para da Para calabazo, 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 para calab
In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands from tonight, I prophesy. I receive. Like I saw it in a revelation. May the Lord give you divine backings. Uncompleted projects. Receive the touch of heaven now. Whatever you have started that you could not finish. Receive the backings of heaven. Whatever has wasted your certificate. I bind the spirit of the waster. I command your certificate. To be free from every manipulation. To be free from every attack. In the mighty name of Jesus. May the hand of God. Rest heavily. On your finances. Amen. The Lord says I should remove blood pressure. I rebuke you. I rebuke you. Blood pressure. Bring him up. I command long life. You will not be cut off. I prophesy every uncompleted project in your life. Since you began that house in Abriba, you couldn't finish it. There is a force mysteriously fighting you from that property. I don't know if there's an uncompleted building in Abriba. Today, I speak into the womb of your destiny. Receive finances. Receive funds. I hear Agnes, 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 come here. Thank you, Jesus. Lift up your hands. You are mighty. Thank you, Jesus. And you're holy. You are lifted up above. So we worship you, Lord. Say, so we worship. Almighty God. Almighty God. You are lifted up. You are lifted up. Everybody raise your voice. So we worship Almighty God. Almighty God. You are lifted up. You are lifted up. Above God. There is a mystery mysteriously frustrating marriage. They say the pain you have, it to be repeated on your daughters. The Lord say it shall not come to pass. Amen. I see a tall young man coming to ask your hand in marriage. You concluded that marriage doesn't work for me because of what I saw in my little life. Two people passed through your life and left you broken. They left seed around you and walk and were merciless. They torture you until you were not in your senses for some months. You were taken to the pastorage to stay because you were homeless for six years. You went through hell. Now you are watching your children as if you can't help them. History is about to be repeated. I saw you crying to God two weeks ago in the spirit. Telling God, don't leave me like this. I hear the voice of the Lord said, I will back you from today. 
I will change your story from today. I will bring you into your rest. Take your seat, everybody. <laughs> Says the Lord. I have the Lord is saying, I should pray for you. Because Friday night, somebody entered your property and buried some things to close your finances and that of your husband. I say Sangoma in the spirit world. The Sangoma is connected to South Africa. That's what I saw. But the Lord said, it shall not stand. Amen. It shall not come to pass. Amen. I don't know who is Godfrey. Godfrey. I see him in prison. I see him in prison. I see him released from prison. I see him released from prison. The Lord say he has heard your cry and that of your husband. They will show him mercy. The young man will come out as a changed person. He said, I will bring my blessing on your family. I will so much prosper you within the next one year. That all your effort of 10 years cannot stand this next one year. Count it beginning from this May to next May. He said, I will abundantly bless you. He said, do not argue with my portion. Whenever I ask you or ask your husband. Because I am blessing you for my kingdom. Say yes the Lord. Wave your hands. I'm hearing Tina. Tina. Lift up your hands young lady. Your hands. Two hands. Jesus. Oh. He loves me. I cannot say why He loves me I cannot say why On Calvary Somebody give me a rapper He so far from me He loves me I cannot say why Now say what that is what I saw in the spirit. He loves me. I cannot say why. Why on Calvary Street? He's so far from me. He loves me. I cannot say why. Oh, he loves me. He loves me. I cannot say why He loves me I cannot say why On Calvary Street He so far from me He loves me I cannot say why God said I should tell you He has answered you the reason because a woman swore that there will be no cry of a baby in your life. But the Lord said there is a reverse. Yes. <laughs> Wave your hands. I'm hearing a name in Gazi. Oh, oh Jesus. Jesus does a something about your name. Lift up your hand and say, Savior Jesus does a something about. Your name, I worship you. 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 The reason I live. The reason. Look at me. Young ladies. 
Mary's enemy. Huh? My niece. What is she asking God for? Marriage. God said He has answered her. Say, so I should tell you that thing she's asking God for. He has done it. Tell her your pastor said it. Go. She watches me on air. Tell her your pastor said so. Because it's. That's a favor God wants to give you between now and Friday. I don't know which of the ingosses, but three of you, when I lay hands on you, your gates are going to open. That's what I see in the spirit realm. Holy Ghost. 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 I'm hearing Simon. Simon. Oh. Holy Ghost. Take the blessing. Do we bless in Gossip? Do we bless again? My life, my life. Open my eyes. Open my eyes. To see. To see Jesus. To see Lift up your hands. Hold it. Father, thank you. This lady. I see you on the streets of US. You. Precisely, I saw you in Maryland. I saw you in Maryland precisely. 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 Prophecy is powerful. Thing. Chicago, three daughters came to see me. They just heard I was in town. They came. That I prophesied them from here. I called the street. Dallas, the same. You. I see, a man. I see a man coming to take you. You. I'll pray for you. The Lord said there are forces. You have children. Because I'm seeing an arrow on one of your child. The Lord said I should pray seriously for you. And for your children who is michelle she's my second daughter i need to pray for her okay. bring her for me tomorrow by three okay, sir. because there's something that will happen to her i saw in national hospital because of michelle the lord said i should reverse it and pray for protection for you yes, lift up your hands in your family where you come from things don't work there's a mystery fighting everybody i'm seeing somebody called emmanuel my first, uh, first son. huh your first son of from your mother. of your mother yes. i'm seeing another one called moses it's my father <laughs> there's a connection between these two people and i saw that uh, what is fighting moses is fighting iman there's a spell on them and the spell is a spell of poverty nothing works even if you put them inside million million would disappear they cast them from the fourth generation before they came. Let me pray a prayer for you. To prove to you God told me, Ima will come out of poverty mysteriously. Where's your husband? Huh? Pray for your husband and pray for your marriage. Somebody is distracting your husband and I see in the spirit realm. That's all I can say. I can't say more than that. Jesus. <laughs> Lord, I break generational powers holding this lady and her father and her senior brother. I break that wicked spell now. In the name of Jesus. Look at me. Open your hands. From today, God says I should tell you anything you touch will work. To be 
true. Oh, there is a race. There is a Put it race. inside any money you are going to use for business. You will be the first to come out of poverty. Others there will follow. Be to be, be one. one. Give me power. Give me power. Every hour. To be true. Why did you bring this picture? Why did you bring this picture? Huh? You do come with these pictures. I see you and your husband. Everything disturbing you is husband. They taught you your husband. Husband. Your prayer request is your husband. Your husband. Your husband. Your husband. You just knew something is wrong. But you can't place your hand on what is wrong. Huh? Yes. Your husband get money. Plenty money. But you don't know where the money goes to. Yes. Even transport, you are the one giving him. give you all the praise as we lift our hands to you oh praise us in our heart oh praise the everybody say in our heart Somebody lift your voice and say everything written about you. Amen. The, the blessings of God. Everybody put your hands on you. How great your health is our God. Your health will not fail you. Sing with me. How great is our God. Is our God. All we sing how great, how great, how great is our God. 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 Hey, how great, how great is our God. Is our God. Sing with oh, me, sing with me, how great is our God. Is our God. All we sing our great, our great, our great. It's our God. It's our God. Put your hand, Lord. Lay your hands on their head. Let their hands be the hands of Jesus. Let their head carry the power, the glory, the presence, the feelable, touchable, contagious presence of the Holy Ghost anyone the enemy plan to disgrace this week let it backfire 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 we thank you lord we give it a glory we give it a praise we give it a glory we give it a glory I'm hearing Jerry. I'm trying to reverse, rewind. I'm hearing Jerry. Joy. 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 Fast. I don't have time. Lift up your answer. Which of you has a Babin salon? I'm seeing a particular Babin salon. Okay. Lift up your hands, Joyce. <sighs> the Lord said, I should lay hands on every joy. Yeah. God said, God said that as you celebrate your birthday, He said, I will give you rest. He said, I will give you rest from battles. You fought battles for so many years. He said, I will give you rest. Joy, go. Now, lift up your hands, the Jerry. 
joy. I lay hands on you. You are blessed. Lift up your hands. Jerry's. How many Jerry's do we have? Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Which of you has somebody abroad? Who? Stand here. Lift up your hands. The Lord says I should cancel struggle. <laughs> you, sir, I'll put you on a fast tomorrow. There's something I'm seeing. A man is dragging something with you. Anytime he gets close, they take it from you. I break that spell. <laughs> See me by three and take a fast. I'm going to tell you something that you will do when you come for the prayer. Tell the secretary, I said you should come with a fast. Jesus. You, you know why I say who has somebody abroad? I saw dollars coming. Their yeah, favor is coming to you. Are you listening to me? Lift up your hands. For too long, she went and forgot to help anybody. Eh? Forgot to help anybody. But the Lord says she's going to call before the end of May. And she will send help. Are you listening to me? Let the hand of the Lord be upon you. And every appetite for sin, let it die. Receive grace in Jesus' name. No 